Okay, folks, it's Panda again from Panda Outdoors. Uh, some of you, some of you may have already seen on Northwest 4B4's page, um, their Instagram page. We've got a new vehicle to the fleet. So as you know, we have the van uh, for going camping, fishing in, and just all around picking up parts for all the ship boxes we own. Uh, and we have the little Nissan um, that's pretty much done. All that's ready for is for me and Brian to get stuck in and have a go at doing a paint job on it. The L200 is pretty much finished, it just I'm not happy with the gearbox so I'm going to run it for a few months and then swap the gearbox out, uh, but other than that, that's all done uh, and then it's just going to be ready getting it turned into like an overlander or a Tora uh, as the Aussies call them, so draw system stuff like that. But we have added a new car to the mix, we have now got the Pajera, okay so um, this is going to be Andy's one. So. Brandy will be in the Tirano, I'm in the L200, and Andy's going to be in the old school Pajera. Um, if you just have a little look around. So, Andy's opted for the automatic. So, automatic, it's got centre diff lock, uh, and it's got the switch that will keep it in. If you put it in um, low range, it'll only go into second gear, stay there. If it's in four wheel drive, you can opt to keep it in uh, four wheel high you can put it in third gear and it'll stay in there so it won't change gear. Um, we have got to get a new trim for there. The previous owner busted it and threw it away so we've got to get a new trim for that. But other than that, it's really good. It comes fitted with a, an immobiliser, uh, which we're happy with. Um, so that's the interior. We are going to do a few more mods. It will have your standard iPad mounts for OS maps and stuff like that. I'm going to get some nice seat covers. We don't want to change these because they're really comfortable. Um, and they have got, if you just look here, they have got Pajera in them. Um, so we do want to keep them, uh, but we'll just get some seat covers for them. Okay, so coming around, it's already been fitted with a snorkel. And it has also got one of the water catches on the top as well. We believe this was factory fitted, but we're not 100% sure. But these are really good when you do go through big puddle splashes or it's heavy rain, this stops any water getting into your snorkel. Also good addition, it's already come fitted with wind deflectors, which is really good when you're off-roading. You can have your window down, but it starts to brush hitting you in the face. So if you're moving around to the front, again, light bar already being fitted on the front in a similar position to the Toronto, um, but it's not wired up. We are going to wire that up and um, get that working. Eventually, this bumper will be going. It'll either have a winch plate and we'll chop the bumper to get it to fit, or if Andy feeling like a bit extravagant, he'll get a proper winch bumper on, big naughty one like mine, I think. Um, okay, moving around as well. We are going to upgrade the wheels, so, these 15 inch wheels are going to be going, as you can see. They're a bit grubby and a bit tatty. Um, they're going to be gone. Uh, we have already got a set of 16 inch wheels uh, in the workshop, already painted black. So we'll be putting them on, and I think Andy quite possibly will be going for a set of 265, 75, 16 Coopers on them. Um, and they'll be on mud terrain tyre. But again, panel works all clean. It's a really good car for the age, and it has all been under sealed and treated all the way along the chassis, which was done by a previous owner. Uh, as you can see just under there, it has been under sealed. Um, so that's one less job that I've got to do. We are going to go for a two inch lift, and I don't think we're going to body lift this. It's going to be a two inch suspension lift, some bigger tyres, and um, wire the light bar up. And again, we'll be going for a roof rack, and another light bar, bigger light bar on the top, or spotlights, depending on what Andy's feeling. Okay, moving on. We need to change these anyway, because we have got uh, the spare wheel is completely knackered. As you can see, spare wheel is terrible. So we've got to get that gone anyway. So tires are our first priority. But other than that, that's the only bad point of the car. So over the next week, we're going to be servicing it. So I'll bring you along for that and I'll show you how to service it basically. So I'll show you how to do an oil change. Pretty standard on every car. And I'm going to show you how to change the brake pads. Okay, so we open it up, we'll show you how. So open it up inside. 
for the age, it is a clean car. You know what I mean? I think it's over 20 odd years old, 25 years old. Carpets, original carpets, just a bit good hoover. What we are going to do, this actually turns into a double bed. Um, so Andy's undecided yet whether to get rid of these seats and fit a drawer system and then keep the, the back seats as um, to fold into a bed and have the drawer system the same height that he's only got to put a bit of a mattress on top of. So he's got a full bed in the back so he doesn't need a tent. So that's one option that we're going for. But again, early days. But another cool item that we found on this is it actually comes with the original factory fitted torch. Okay, which is quite cool. You open it up and it's got a cigarette lighter and it just fits into the 12 volt socket that is underneath the torch mount. Again, which is really cool, really good item. Ooh. Okay, again, this is Andy's little favorite of it. To fill the rear wiper up, it's just in the back there, so you don't do it from the front. And he's like smitten over that. And then just in this part here, we have got a small tool kit, okay? So all we need to replace in that is the screwdriver. And then that's quite a handy little tool set just that we've always got. Obviously when we're four wheel driving, Andy's gonna be investing in a nice little tool kit anyway. Then moving on, as you can see, we have got a rated recovery point there and a tow bar. But what we're gonna do is, as you can see, this tow bar is bent. We're gonna remove this plate and we're just gonna bolt the tow bar straight to, uh, we're gonna, the tow bar hitch, we're just gonna remove it and fit it straight on the tow bar. So it's less, it's not gonna drop down as much. So it'll be, sit a lot higher. So when we're off roading, you haven't got a spade traveling along with you to dig it in. So that is our new project um, that we're gonna get underway. As I say, the Toronto's done, it's off road ready. The L200 is done. Just a few little issues, a uh, gearbox crunching and the lights. Uh, but I know what the lights are, it's the wiring. Um, so it's not affecting it, it's just the lights coming on. So that does not bother me. Uh, eventually one day I will get that sorted, but for now, it's off road ready and it's good to go. So next project is let's get Andy out with us. Instead of us um, sharing vehicles, we'll have our own and then we'll get out on some adventures with Greg. Okay, so again, I hope you've liked this video and stay tuned for the Pajera build. Um, I'll film this a lot more because there's gonna be Andy and Brownie working on the vehicle as well as me. So I can get some videos in. I'm not just working on it because if anyone's seen me work on cars before, there's a lot of effing and jeffing. Tools get thrown, because I'm not the best of mechanics, but I get the job done. At least with Brani, he's got a lot of patience uh, and thinks about things and figures them out and keeps me calm. So I will get a lot more video done on this of us building it. Again, I've been Panda. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors sometime. Take care.